Um, feels different over here on this channel. It's weird in this one, isn't it? Feels different. There's a different feel in the air already. You can swear a lot more on this channel. I try not to. So, should we talk about swearing just before we get into Kinder Eggs? We can talk about swearing because I actually have a potty mouth. I, I, when the camera's not on, I've noticed you can control it quite well. I, I struggle, you know. I've I, got but, a strange thing that when you hit, when you hit the record button, I don't swear. Yeah. People think I edit out my swearing. I don't edit it out. It's just a strange thing. I hit the record button. My brain doesn't a weird thing. Yeah. I just don't swear. But then my missus will shout at me when I'm at home. So we can you please stop swearing? And, I'm, and, and I, I genuinely try. Do you know? What, and it, I can't stop swearing. I'm like, I just have to go around everywhere with a camera. It's the motor on. trade. It's the motor trade. It is it's just. Weird. It gets working on gets cars. You. you swear. Like it is just <laughs> because everything you do on a car. A lot of the time, it's trying to hurt you. Everything's either really hard, really hot, <laughs> or really sharp. <laughs> yeah, just absolutely battered, like. And it, and if you're pinching your finger in a fucking set of pliers or something, you're gonna swear, yeah. like. And there's nothing you can do about it. Is it and, I, and I try. I'm trying to control it a lot more now. So, you know, even on this channel, some of it can get pretty blue, like. But. Um, in the other channel, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on Tasty Classics. I do really try and pull it yeah. back. Well, you know, you, I'll give you a really good reason why you should not swear in your videos. Yeah. Because you get higher CPMs. Oh, wow, do you? Yeah. That's why I started. That's wow. why I started that way. I knew that. Somehow I knew that coming into it. CPM is how much money you get per 1,000 views. Per 1,000 views. How much the advertisers, are, you know, the adverts that you see at the start of the videos and in the middle of the videos, so how much it, they pay. It, YouTube will know if you've... It'll, it'll, yeah. AI will capture the swear word. Yeah. God, right, I need to stop swearing. Yeah. And but if in you, a tasty class, you don't I'm really so trying. Much, it'll, your CPMs should go up. If you've got a lot of swearing... Yeah, a lot yeah. of people have said they notice their CPMs go right down. You earn less money for the sake I, of swearing. I know they, you know, they won't put it to certain advertisers exactly. if, if, if you're swearing. But again, on Tasty Classics, I really try not to swear. But sometimes you'll, get, you'll be doing a really good bit of footage that you really need to put into the video. <laughs> and when, and you, don't, you don't notice you've done it, but you'll get back to, the, um, you'll get back to the, you know, where you're editing it and you'll be going through the edit and you'll go, why did I say that? Oh my God, that was a massive F-bomb in the middle of a sentence. And you just, at the time, you're so in the zone and you're really yeah. happy, like, because the car might have just started for the first time in 14 <laughs> years, 40 years, and you go, fuck! And it's like, oh, why did I say that? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm, I'm generally quite controlled with it. It's just when the camera goes off, I'm bad. I mean, you've heard me swearing all morning. Yeah, really bad. But the cat, yeah. Oh, mate, I haven't had one of these in years. So this is tradition now. Are we just getting straight into them? On this podcast, that whenever... They still have the toy in them. I mean, you hear something in there. <laughs> you definitely get... Yeah, something in it. But whenever we get a big celebrity on... <laughs> we're going to open Kinder Eggs. Wynn's really annoyed at this because... Um, he doesn't get Kinder Eggs. <laughs> um, what's, your, what's your preferred method of opening a Kinder Egg? I just crack it like crack that it and then piece it. Oh, see, I don't know if I'd have bitten into it first. But then you might actually have bite the plastic. Uh, mm. No, error. I got these when I was... So it, I say it's a tradition. Oh, I'm getting all sorts of nostalgia. So good. The chocolate's really nice, isn't it? Yeah, it is actually. <laughs> um, but we did this for the first time with Steph because I wanted to see... I remember getting, like, little toy cars. And I don't know if the um, toys are as good now in these things. Because this one... No, last, last time, me and Steph got dinosaurs. Which is okay. I remember them. I'm not known for my health and safety. <gasps> what have you got? It's got wheels. Did you? It's got wheels. <laughs> wow, I'm excited. I'm not known for my health and safety. No. But can you remember these when we were... What the hell? What that? Let it go. It's gone. It's gone. gone. It's see my karate come out? Yeah, it's good. Did you then. see that? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> you used to, <laughs> you used to get. Um, like they were an absolute choking hazard. The pieces were all, always that big of the toy, weren't they? This looks like you could choke. They were a it. nightmare. Brilliant, but a nightmare. Oh, this is so. This is why. I just. I didn't realise it had happened this soon into the Kinder Egg tradition. Oh my god! It's got stickers to put on it. What have you got? That is a car. 
mate. I've got a car. I'm so happy. The first real what have I got? brand new car on the channel. <laughs> <laughs> it's from a kid. Have you ever owned a brand new car? I've had quite a lot, yeah. Have you? Yeah. I've never owned a brand new car. I probably had. What's this? I probably had. What's that? You've that? got the sharp end of the stick what there, mate. What is it? <laughs> what is that piece of crap you got there? I don't understand. So, yeah, a bit mad, but I probably had maybe 100 brand new cars. What? Yeah, <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. I, um, I've got to scan it with a free app. Look at that, I'm putting a sticker on mine. What have you got to scan? Right, well, I'm going to, as soon as I put these stickers on, I'm going to show oh. the camera what it is that I've got here. And we'll I've do got to the download same. an app and play it. You know what? This modern world can just, honestly, sometimes just... We've got to, sh we've got to show the camera what it was. <laughs> I don't look know how, what it is. Look at how sick mine is. <laughs> look at that. I've got a prop, the first car of the channel. I'm so pleased. Oh, my God. Hey, it's, a, it's got an engine. For anyone just listening on Spotify, by the way, it is just like a purple... Thing. It's, it doesn't make any sense, that, at all. It comes with some card, though. I hate it. I hate it. Whatever it is, this is what you want in I've your life. I've been properly let down there. I've been stitched up, mate. How far do you reckon <laughs> it'll go on the floor? Lost traction, then, did you see yeah, that? I saw that. His wheel's back, spinning. Back end went out. You need some new tyres on it. Oh, go on. <sighs> So That's not good. bad. See how far mine can go. <laughs> <laughs> it's straight into the focus much if I'm not than careful. Mine. <laughs> uh, well, that was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm pleased I got a, a car. <laughs> um, I can't wait to tell all my friends. Um, right then, so where are we up to? Right, it's some fun questions. Um, Money, no object. Yeah. Three car garage. Oh, it's such a hard question. It is a hard question. It's so and it doesn't hard. have to be a permanent answer. No, it, it changes, can be on a, changes on a weekly basis anyway. Yeah, it can be so subject only, to change. I can only tell you where I'm at now. <laughs> <laughs> Money, no object. Yeah. Three car. <sighs> Do you know what? It's funny because when Steph was in here, I asked her that question. I said, Money, no object. And she picked three cars that probably totaled about seven grand. Really? <laughs> Really? Well, I'm gonna. I've got. I think on your list you have to have something relatively cliche. Yeah. And what do you mean, like it fast? Yep. Yeah, well, Supercar. Desirable. Yeah. Cl cliches are usually a cliche because there's some element of truth. There's some, mm. you know, a Ferrari 250 short wheelbase. That's that's what you want. Yeah. Amazing. That's, that's going in there. That could be cliche, but it's because it is. No matter which way you look at it, an amazing car. Yeah. Glorious. It's one of the most beautiful cars ever made. Yeah. If you ever heard one go in full chat, it will make your skin oh, tingle. So good. It was just Ferrari in the 60s. I mean, it's just, yeah. it's a Ferrari, I don't need, I'm trying to justify a Ferrari 250 and it does it itself. My, my supercar one would be <coughs> the Lamborghini Diablo SV oh, in, yes. the, in the lilac. Yes. You know, that, the, yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. light purple. Yeah. Fucking hell, yes, the supercar's That's got to be statement. in there, isn't it? That is, that is a serious statement. statement. And I would live at the ring and I would drive it around the <laughs> ring up to a point of it breaking as, as often as I could and then I'd just go and have it repaired and then break it again. Do it again. Yeah. Yeah, that's a solid choice. Go um, on, next one. 250. You know what was on the, in this garage? Go on. An early 2000s Audi RS6 C5. Wow, okay. Haven't you got uh, one? Yeah. And that's why it's now no longer on the list. <laughs> that's why it's no longer on the list. It, it's, it's, a, what, what, it's been a bit of a pain in the ass that car, hasn't it? Yeah, it's, you know people say, don't meet your heroes. Mm. That's, I've, I've had that happen to me with that car. I lusted after one for the longest time. Yeah. And the worst thing that I've done in owning that car is work on it myself. Yeah. Or probably not even work on I've, it myself, I've because I've got some receipts in there from the previous owners, and they will make your eyes oh water. They wouldn't make your eyes water, they'd make you just faint. Yeah. It's... I, 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 
I've watched some of your videos on those and I've seen some of the stuff and the, just the access and things, it's, it's, it's a nightmare. The, so it's the access, it's, it's so hard to work on mm. to the point where I've just lost enthusiasm for it to, to work on. I'm dreading making another video. I've still got to do another video on it. Yeah. I'm kind of dreading it, to be honest, <laughs> yeah. because I'm, I can't... Like, if you watch my channel, I, I, I don't fake anything. It's mm. me being me. And I've lost enthusiasm for that car because it's so difficult to work on. Yeah. And it's so fragile. And it is fragile. It's just everything wants to snap and break. Yeah. All of the bolts are rusty. So I have an easier time. But you wouldn't expect, really, would no, you? No, I have an easier time. I did a little, I did a little um, story about this on Instagram or a reel or whatever they're called. Um, I have more problems taking bolts out of that Audi and any Audi of that era <laughs> than I have on the Rover P6, the Triumph Spitfire. Have you it's seen so the Spitfire? So true, yeah. The, the, any of the Mercs that I've had? That's, that, that, that's, that's been a dream to work yeah. on, in some cases. Yeah, but those Audis, all the bolts want to snap, all the plastic vacuum lines they want to snap, yeah. everything wants to break, so you can't get access, everything wants to break, stuff doesn't come off, and then to top it all off, there's no parts. Mm, that's interesting. I thought, because I, I already no, mentioned that in the video, I thought it would have been... So, what were you looking for? Was it a... Oh, I can't remember you mentioned it on the video. You were looking for uh, something and it was just like impossible to get hold of. I was looking, looking for uh, a front brake caliper. I, you know how much I paid for a second hand front brake caliper for that car? Go on. 650. Oh, Jesus Christ. For one. And it was an RS6 caliper. Wow. And it was second hand used. It was 650 quid. ABS pump. Shit. I think the ABS pump. I need a new ABS pump. I sent it off to get repaired multiple times. No one could repair it. The electronics had died somehow. I think an ABS pump was about 400 quid. Wow. It's different to the regular eight six, yeah, of course. Yeah. It's an RS6 specific. All the yeah. bits are RS6 specific. Yeah. Nothing translates over from a regular A6 or even an S6. Um, so the, the cost, so you, not only do you have the RS tax, mm. but you have just no supply. Yeah. There are no bit. I called up Audi the other day for new washer jets. Because um, my washer jets were blocked. That was it. I remember washer jets. Yeah, yeah I called that was Audi. They said, oh, no, sorry, obsolete part. Just so fucking washer jet. It was like I'd give you a part number and you can probably check eBay. That was the, guy, the parts yeah. guy at Audi. And it's just it's like not that. that. What year is it? Oh, oh. 2003. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's just, there's no, there are no parts. No, nothing. It's, I've had everything. And, and when you phone up Euro car parts or any of those car, I'm not picking on Euro car parts, any of the parts places, it's not even, I don't even have the right parts like in the database. When you do think you found something, you get sent the wrong thing. Because mm. it's not even, it's just not, it's never been well supported. I, ca I can't even, I can't see how they're even going to be worth money in the future. Mm. Like it's, it's not a solid investment, I don't think, if you want to buy one of those RS6s. Because to, even to, when you come to restore it in 10 years' time, road, you're yeah, not going to yeah. find the bits. You won't find them. They'll all be second-hand, and then you have to get things made. Yeah. And the desire is never there for them cars anyway. Mm. There is, you know, a bit of desire, but uh, those cars, I don't think they'll ever be worth anything. Mm. They're so fragile, and then the ones that are on the road, because every, all the vacuum lines will have perished and everything, you won't, you won't be driving it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I can't see how that would ever make good sense. But yeah, I've lost enthusiasm on that car, so it's no longer on the list. Went off and Very, very interesting. Um, so what is on the list? Uh, escort Cosworth. So like Clarkson with, shape. With a whale tail. <laughs> yeah, because absolutely. Because when, when I was a teenager getting into cars, that was what was mid 90s Well, not a teenager. So you live in Essex now, but did you live in Essex then? No, 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 no. Essex is a new thing. Wow, because Essex is obviously big Ford, Ford fellas down there. Yeah, they, massive yeah? Ford, huge Ford. Yeah, yeah. But you, escort you see them knocking about, <sighs> but not the Escorts so much anymore. You see quite a lot of Sierra and Cosworth. Yeah. Um, but those, those Escort Cosworths now, I, I, 100 I, I, grand, 80 grand for a, a half decent one. I sort <laughs> of had two Sierra Cosworths. I, I sort of had. It was, there were, a, a, I, I used to have my own garage years ago, and a customer like, said, You can have half the money if we essentially build. He had a Rouse edition, Andy right. Rouse yeah, edition. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it was, a, and again, it's just the amount of money that we would have got for these things had we been doing it now, is insane yes, compared to what nuts. we had back then. Yeah. I used to, you know, I had Capri and stuff at the same time, but the Rouse Sierra Cosworth, we had, we bought an entire other Sierra Cosworth to fix the Rouse one, 
and made two into one amazing, really good one, oh, yeah. and then sold it for fuck all. Yeah. And it was just, it was mental. But I remember driving it around, just being like, this is the, the, the most awesome thing in the world. <laughs> And, but at the time, they were just, they were, I think it was 12 grand. Yeah. It was just like, you know, it was just a 12 grand car. It wasn't really... I saw a shell on eBay the other day for about 12 grand. It's nuts. Shell. And we put... It wasn't even a rolling shell, it yeah, was a shell. We put so much effort into that car. Subframes changed, yeah. everything, engine out, job, you know, massive amounts of work. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Totally. But I do love a fast forward and I would do it all again. Yeah. Escort, <laughs> Escort Cosworth. There, there was one around the corner for me growing up. It was red. I don't know the technical name of the colour. But it was red, and he used to just park it on the road as well. Oh, but I used to look at it yeah. every day and just be like, "Yeah, yeah, that." That's that a car. A I've car. never driven one. I've never sat the, in the, one. The WRC rally car, yeah. Escort Cosworth, is one of the best-looking rally cars of all yeah. time. Oh, without, without, without question. They're, they're just such a nice rally. Yeah, uh, yeah they're, they're, they're an amazing got, car. And they have their reputation, but I couldn't care less. Yeah, I just couldn't care less. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Say uh, what you want, think what you want, see. tar me with whatever brush you want. I want an Escort Cosworth. Yeah. Be the ultimate cool car to have, yeah. I think. Really nice cars. And uh, then last one, then the last one in the collection would be a really used Series One or Series One and a half uh, E Type. <laughs> nice, nice, because really good. I saw a bloke not that long ago, and I got chatting to him. Who had one? It was in a, na a navy colour. Yeah. It was, uh, I think it was a one and a half. I don't know what they call them. One and a half, one point five, right. whatever the, the Jag people call call them. And it was a drop head. Drop yeah, it. Yeah, um, nice. And it was just perfectly used. Yeah. It was it was all pretty original, mm. but it was just used. He had dings in the body. It wasn't so much time. It wasn't, for that. it wasn't awful. It wasn't rusty or anything. Yeah. He'd, he'd, he'd owned it. He was an old chap. He was in, well, old, you know, yeah, pretty old. He was in his 70s. Yeah. He was still driving it around. But he'd owned it, I think he'd owned it since like the 70s. Wow. The same car. And it was just like perfectly a little bit of scuff there, mm. perfectly used here, but it was in perfect running condition. Yeah. And he'd always taken care of like the mechanicals and all the body, and he'd always under-sealed it, wax-oiled it, and got rust repairs done when he'd got... But it was scruffy. It was still yeah, scruffy. Yeah, yeah. But he's like, I, I jump in it and I go to the shops. <sighs> and I jump in it and he takes it to south of France. And he's like, <sighs> and I went to the Alps. And he just hops in it and he's like, and I don't care I've got about so much... not driving it because, and that's the whole thing, like, you, you, if I owned any of those cars, I'd drive them. Yeah, I've got so much more love for a car that's used in that way rather than just hidden away. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? I mean, yeah. it's it, obviously a different scale, but if you look at the, the, the focus there now, it's a bit dirty. Yeah. And I feel like it kind of looks quite nice because yeah. it's a little bit dirty. It's sort of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. because you can tell underneath it, it's pretty immaculate and it's like, right, okay, but it is a little bit dirty yeah. because it gets, I rag the fuck I'll, out of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm all about, I mean, people know my policy on cleaning cars anyway, if they've ever watched my videos. <laughs> but every, oh, that's the best, that's how a car should I'll, look. I'll, 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 I'll put a shot of yeah, it. That's how a car should look, used. Yeah, that is the perfect, the perfect amount of dirt. Gorgeous, it's just it? look, because you can't see the paint there. <laughs> yeah, because the paint's fucked there, yeah. so it, it just looks like it'd be immaculate. There's no paint there, it? but it's it's just dirt. But <laughs> it's the way that it then thins. Yeah. And it gives you this lovely patina. As and it, it comes, goes into this like real yeah. nice. And then we get work. back into paint. Yeah. But it's it's like heart. It's two tone. But what it means is, is it means <laughs> that you're not. It's not a garage queen. No. You're not scared of driving it in any weather. Yeah. And you're using it for its intended purpose, which is to drive hard and have fun. That's it. So true. <laughs> yeah, if I ever had a Ferrari 250 short wheelbase, I'd make sure it looked like that. <laughs> just, it'd just be better if it, it did, would, you know? Yeah. Um, great, great free car garage, though. Really good. Yeah. Much better than Steph's. She wanted, I don't know, what was it, a Proton? Proton, I imagine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> You have to drive. Yeah. I asked Steph the same question. Yeah. You have to drive a Nissan Juke, and it's the only car you can drive. <laughs> what? The, no that other car. car version. The Nissan. No, 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 no. Oh, a bog. One point six okay. Bogo poverty spec. Okay. Nissan Juke. Nissan Juke for yeah. five years. <laughs> that's the only car you can drive. Yeah. Or you have to go to prison for a month. A prison. Yeah, hundred percent. I got to prison for a year. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's totally fair, to prison, isn't it? I'm going to prison for a year, then. That's the, that's the, yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, two. Yeah, two. <laughs> I, I think, no, I'm thinking about it. Like, yeah, for Why would you? Yeah. Years. That is going, go, driving a Nissan Juke every day is like going to prison, so you may as well just have a short 100%, sentence. 100%. Even, you know, especially if it was like a little 1.6 Boggo thing. Yeah. A Juke, if you owe. How many people can I offend? You want to, a, a Nissan Juke, or a Kashkai, or anything of that ilk are. They're, they're literally built for people who just don't care about cars, who yeah. see cars as just a form of transportation. Mm -hmm. This is just from, to get me from here to there. Mm. So as a petrol head, there is nothing more offensive than someone who doesn't see a car as the beautiful, yeah. crafted artwork that they are. Yeah. You know, and just says, oh, it's just, it's just got four wheels, isn't it? So yeah, it gets me to the shops and back. Yeah. Okay, so, well, that's all you deserve then. Jesus. So does the bus. Yeah. Use the so bus walking, instead. Yeah. <laughs> Getting on a scooter, <laughs> um, rollerblading. Yeah. Uh, uh, so Actually, I'd rather do all those things than drive a Duke. <laughs> <laughs> What's your thoughts on electric cars? <sighs> I think they're the same kind of people, if I'm honest. But I think they're specifically for tech nerds mm. who only see it as a form of transportation. Mm. <laughs> and I, I, yeah, totally. I, don't, right. I think, <laughs> and, I, and like I've said before, I think early adopters, yeah. I see as electric car yeah, drivers, yeah, yeah, yeah. people that when the the the, the new I, iPhone comes out, when the first ever iPhone came yeah, out, yeah. everybody was like, "What are you on about? It hasn't got any buttons. Weird." But the 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 you know the the first guy, oh no, I won't want that just because it's yeah. the latest thing, the latest bit of yeah. technology. What you know? I wish with electric cars, I don't like necess I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem with electric cars, per se. Mm. I have a problem with the reasons people give for owning one that aren't, that aren't in the camp of, um, it's a company car, my work will only let me have an electric car. That's mm. fair enough, okay, you, that's it's kind of out of your control. I don't like all these people that buy them and then try to preach that they're doing good by buying an electric car or that they're trying to help the environment by buying an so electric true. car. So true, totally agree. It's, you only have to think about it for 30 seconds, <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah. Literally, just ask yourself a series of quick questions. Yeah. As to, is this thing actually good for the environment? Let's think about it. Or would a, would a one litre Volkswagen Polo no. if that, be, yeah. be better, you know? Yeah, or would a 20-year-old Volkswagen Golf be better? Yeah. A diesel, uh, you know, with, with no DPF and no... Yeah. Would that actually be better? If you just, just think about it for a bit. But I, I'd be much less bothered if people said, I'm buying this electric car because I am a bit of a tech geek. Yeah. And I, I like the electric car because it's something different. And I think, yeah. I but think most there... of the people I ever hear talk about electric cars, oh, well, actually, I'm... Yeah. So, no. If there was a bit more transparency <laughs> and stuff from the people that actually buy them, rather than trying to sort of virtue signal and go, no, it's better for the environment. It's like, well, yeah. hang on, it's oh, not oh, better oh, for the environment. Oh, 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 yeah. I think when I, what I'd like to do with my sort of YouTube career is if I ever get to a point where I've got a bit more cash, is I would like to do a real in-depth, independent test where yeah. I would have it, it, probably two cars side by side. I'd probably give one to my mum, one to my auntie, and I'd get them to run them for two years. And I, I, and I, would, I would essentially w log everything and make one massive big video and work out at the end of it, once the warranty is gone and all this sort of stuff, what has happened and yeah. how, you know, how good actually are these things? Because it's, from what I've seen, it's completely upside down from what people think. Mm. Electric cars are going to be what, in like, terms of you know, like running costs and running, reliability. Running yeah. costs is huge, you know, especially if you can't always charge at your house. Mm. You know, if you've got to go and charge anywhere else, I've seen people like, oh my god, you know, yeah. eye watering sometimes. But just, just in, in, in every aspect of yeah. you know how uh, the, the carbon footprint of, of <laughs> that when that car's created, yeah. so when we get rid of it in two years' time, yeah. You know? the, I mean, that whole that whole argument is just. I think people get confused because they they look at it and well it's got no it's got no exhaust, <laughs> yeah, so, so it must the, be better the fumes the, the fumes aren't coming out of it, so the environment is winning. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And you're like, to a point, you're you're actually correct locally. Yeah. 
here see that in this little that area. massive gas fired power <laughs> station over there <laughs> well that's the thing like the 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 emissions are still happening yeah, yeah. just not in the six foot vicinity in which you're stood or yeah. sat with your electric car which you know one of the you're benefits sourcing your emissions just somewhere yeah. else over there and one of the big benefits of electric cars which i do you know i'm, I'm all for and do like is is in city centers having um less emissions in the city centre, yeah. I think, yeah, is, yeah. Is, is a good thing. And I, uh, but what we should never do is punish people who don't do that. No. If I, if I want to take my F-250 into the city centre, don't look at me like I'm Satan for doing no. it. Do you know what I mean? No. Uh, just because there's, there's a bit of unused petrol coming out the exhaust. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Nobody's dying. <laughs> a lot of unused petrol coming out the exhaust. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, it's people just need a more honest conversation. I think they, you know, they have their they have their place. Yeah. But they're not they're not they're not the solution. They're not the solution to a problem. There's a different argument whether the problem itself is even a. It's a deeper conversation. I don't think it's for here. No, I, I think but you're it's, absolutely right. And that's yeah, yeah. And, and it's it, and what annoys me a lot is I think it's it's take it's becoming electric car ownership and that whole thing is becoming an ideology. Mm. And it's and so it's hard to reason with people once they're they're into it in that sense. And it's, it's very true. But I I have um, no I know people um, that have. Um, gone back to an ice car from mm. and, and after they've had their first initial two or three year contract with an electric car and gone no way will I get yeah. one again you know and I know people who have done yeah, that yeah, yeah. Um, and the, their main reason is um, the lack of infrastructure of charging yeah. facilities yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. is their, their main reason that I hear yeah, yeah. but um, another guy that I spoke to has a Volvo it's like uh, XC70 yeah, yeah. but an electric one and it was something like I, I, uh, the they said the range was say 290 miles or something like that, and the real range was 150. Mm. It, was, it was half, pretty much. And he said, and he, he um, one of the reasons there is because he bought a car off me to use um, as a second car. So what actually happened is the guy that was going for the electric car had now bought a second car right. so he could use if he was going off and doing <laughs> other things. And it's just like, it just completely flips the whole thing in yeah. his head. But he said to me, he just says, there is almost, I, I can use this to go to work and to the shops, but anything else I can't use it for. Yeah. And he says, the second I see a little red on the traffic jam thing, I shit myself because I'm like, yeah. right, how, am I gonna, how long am I going to be yeah. stuck here for? You yeah, know? if you're pottering around town or you only you commute into your local town to work and back, and you only those people only ever charge those things at home. Mm, yeah, Fine. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but Al, <laughs> I couldn't have come up here today in an electric car. <laughs> Absolutely, all the way from Essex. Even, like, even, yeah. even if it had the range to get here, how, where would I have plugged it in? I wouldn't have. You know, I know what I mean? There's can a, you a two forty volt. Can there? you plug it into any old? But you'd have, you'd have to sleep here overnight. Well, yeah, it's it's yeah. I mean. Lots of people, there'll be some people watching shouting, going, you haven't given any real reasons. But well, I think... You get, you, it's, a, it's, it's such a massive debate. It's such a huge yeah. topic that you can't cover it in a few minutes of, like this. You should true. do your video. You should do a video. I, I think, you know, when it, but I'd, I'd need a lot of money and a lot of resources to be able to record it, because what I would essentially like to do is, is look at um, something like a Peugeot, Peugeot 208 electric, Peugeot 208 yeah. petrol, yeah, yeah. Um, exactly the same car, and just, you know, work everything out piece by piece, but over the, the warranty period of the yeah, car, yeah, yeah. really, and see, you know, which one went back to the dealership the most, what was the servicing cost, yeah. you know, all this sort of stuff. Um, and then, you know, you could do something really interesting as you could do that as one video, yeah. and then you could do a part two where it's out of warranty. So yeah. between the, when the, which I think is when you're gonna see all these problems, yeah is as soon as the, the brand new electric car goes to three years old, yeah. the, the three years after that, when you're going to see batteries failing, yeah. you're going to see you know, all this sort of thing. Yeah. It's going to be, we don't have the data on, the, on, the, on, on any of these cars that have been around for any length of time. You know, mm -hmm. like, you know, I mean, this thing, we know what, what the deal is, it works. It, you can still get parts. And I mean, what's an electric car like in 10 years time, in 15 years time? Will it ever be able to be used again? Mm -hmm. Can you, I don't know, we don't know these, we don't know these answers yet. It's, yeah, it's it's yeah. It's, and, you know, we have batteries in cars. These cars, they have batteries, and there's two there that are completely dead, mm. and that you know they're they're, they're going to be scrapped like. And it's 
that's a battery. Electric cars run off batteries, <laughs> you know. Yeah. The, my, same, the, 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 the battery in my missus iPhone is only a couple of and years that, old yeah. and it needs replacing already. It's yeah. lithium iron, I don't know. Yeah. But anyway, we're not experts. <laughs> no. I'm um, sticking with my petrol and my diesel. <laughs> yeah. Um, best career in your YouTube career. What's been like a real sort of big standout thing for you? What have you sort of um, gone, do you know what? This is a, what a brilliant day. Oh, most days I wake up and I get to, do, great I get to do it. It's just the best job in the world. I can't yeah. think of a, I, I genuinely can't think of a job I'd rather do. It's just the most amazing thing. It is brilliant. Every day is like that. But like if there was one standout day, I mean, it's got to have been the day I went full time, I suppose. Nice. Yeah, go, so just go in full time, going, this is now, realising that this is now my career. And you quit, quit your job. Yeah. And then just... Yeah. Just woke up the next morning and just started, just picked up some spanners and went to work. It was... <laughs> Switched the camera on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was just like, oh, wow, this is my, this is now my job. I'm getting paid. This is, this is nuts. Amazing. This is absolutely nuts. This is it's such an amazing, lucky... Just yeah. it's, it's an amazing job. I feel so grateful, so grateful I get to do it every day. I pinch myself all the time. I, yeah. I, I, I still, I get home from work and I'll say to my missus, I'll say, can you believe? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> can you believe what I get to do all day long? And, and she's like, yeah, fucking hell, of course I can. I've been doing everything around the fucking house all day. The baby's crying its fucking eyes out and you've been pissing about with fucking Audi again. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Sinking all the money into that Audi. <laughs> yeah, well, we haven't got any clothes, yeah. what are you doing? Um, no, it's great. Uh, yeah. She's great as well. She's brilliant. So is, is she supportive and everything? Oh, is she, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, she took, took a bit of convincing at the beginning. I've seen right, on a couple of videos right so. and, and you're like, oh, can you just can we start this for me? And, you know, her, she, yeah. she's got a lot of enthusiasm yeah. and stuff, but you can see your, yours, uh, uh, you know, when you start to say, your enthusiasm there and hers was so down here, you know, just like, yeah. yeah no, she's it. been just, I wouldn't have been able to do it without her. Yeah, she was yeah. supportive from the very early days, even when I was just sinking loads of basically our cash into <laughs> it. And, she, uh, and I was, you know, sunk a lot of our money into the channel just to get it to where it is now. Yeah. It's still paying me back, technically. I mean, it is mm. still in that sense, not economically viable. But it's, it's get, it's, it is getting back, it's, it's, it's all cool. But she was so supportive from the very beginning. She, she saw, I think she, she saw that it could work as well, you know, yeah. fairly early on, you know, with the comments that we were getting. And, and I think she just saw that it was good for me. Mm. And I think she was like, look, if you're, you're a different person. Yeah, yeah, that's good. And I like, really nice I like, know, I like this version of you, so oh, keep, keep going. But, but she's also- how, how, how long have you been together? Five years. Wow, brilliant. Okay. Yeah. But she's also been like, you know, she makes, she pushes me as well. Yeah, that's she cool. She absolutely pushes me all from day one. She's like, no, go on, keep going, go harder. And that's good. You know, really, just, yeah, she's incredible. Excellent. She's well, that's really good, isn't it? Um, so, <laughs> worst. You can't start a question by laughing like that. <laughs> I'm worried. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm laughing at because you're from Essex. Well, you're not from Essex, but you live in Essex. Yeah. So I don't know if you're going to have a different answer for this. Worst car modifications. Love asking this because I want to see what other people think Worst are bad. Worst car modifications. What, what's going on at the moment that you look at and you go, fuck? It's two things. Yeah. It's got them stupid number plates. The 4D? Why are they even called 4D? That upsets me. Yeah, <laughs> what, can you smell Fourth them? Fourth dimension? <laughs> yeah. Oh, OK. Oh, all right. They're, was... the, they're the worst thing in the world. Do you know what I saw? I, I saw yes. the one, like, a bra it was so really expensive, brand new car, a brand new Porsche yeah. 911 or something, like a mega money car, brand spanking new, and it had a fucking horrendous 4D it. number plate. I don't, I don't understand who thinks their car looks good with those things. Just Bobble don't... number plate. Yeah. It's just, I don't know. Really they're, weird. They're all, I just, I, I just, I can't comprehend it. I don't know, I just don't fundamentally understand why you'd want one of those plates on your car. I'm hoping one day I'm going to ask that question <laughs> and like, we'll, we'll talk about them and I'll go, no, they're amazing, they look <laughs> so cool. They look sick, bruv. But they don't. Um, they look awful, I don't, I don't get it. So 4, 4D, I don't get the name either. 4D, an extra dimension, <laughs> stupidity. Those, Why not 5D Yeah, plates? I know, those, those plates. 7D number plates, that's what we're going to make next. And then the other thing, Go the on. 
pop and bang tunes that people put on the cars. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it goes to the Nürburgring <laughs> a lot. And <laughs> Why? I so don't understand that, it. That will do some natural pops yeah, and bangs. Yeah, fine. Every, and you get one every now and then, if you're lucky. And it's a, it's a long time between them. And when you get one, it's like, it's, a, it's, it's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, like, boom, yeah. Really cool. But that is because of the, the way the exhaust is and the, you know, it's, it's just... But the people will go and map a uh, one litre Fiesta eco, eco boom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and, 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 and it, it sounds like a machine gun. Yeah. Ba, 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 yeah. ba. Fucking what's wrong with yeah, that? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Why do you want to drive down the road like that? And you do get loads of them at the Nürburgring and it is embarrassing. Yeah. And so many it's, of them have got UK such plates. It's strange thing. I think, I, I, I think the pop and bang tune wouldn't be, wouldn't be a thing if cars still came with double DIN or DIN head unit. <laughs> because they've basically replaced <laughs> aftermarket <laughs> sound systems and subwoofers. It's the same people. Yeah, it is the same, the same people, people, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, look, yeah. I had a subwoofer in my car when I passed my test. But yeah. it's the same thing. You can't do that anymore because of the, they phased it out, didn't they, around this time, the focus. Yeah. Um, and you don't put a sub in your car. What else can you do to sound like a knob? <laughs> Well, you get the pop and bang yeah. tune on your car, don't you? And then destroy it in the... Pro which is a subwoofer never did. It didn't destroy your car. No, you could just take it out and it was very, very yeah. simple and very, very straightforward. Exactly. And, it, you know, the, the, the pop and bang, unless you get them unmapped, you know, they kind of are there. And imagine, imagine you just you bought one from an auction or something and you, you just got into it and you slowed down for a set of traffic lights the first time you'd driven it away from the auction. Boom, 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 boom. You're like, oh, oh for no, I've been, sake. I've been done. Oh, no. Yeah, no, I, just, I don't, I fundamentally don't understand. I just don't understand it. I can't. So a lot of it, I think, it did come from the rally cars, didn't it? And the, the sort of. Um, uh, what's the thing? Anti-lag. Anti-lag, when they keep the turbo spinning. That, that, was, that was where it's sort of, everybody wants that sound, because they all think they're driving a yeah, fucking... They didn't do it in rally, rally for the noise, they did it for... Because they needed they it. They needed it. <laughs> You're not going around a rally track. You oh, go into nice. Tesco's. Yeah. And they usually have 4D plates on those cars. Yeah, so. absolutely. It's double whammy. Um, how many cars have you got, Nino? You know? Uh... And I want to know about one specifically because one of the people from my Patreon have asked me to um, ask, me. Ask, ask you this question. Wow, OK. Well, I've got the Golf. Hateful. So that's what you've turned up, the 2-litre TDI Golf match on a 61 plate. I used to sell, I'd probably say, 15 of those a month. Yeah. Bread and butter, those cars. Yeah, I hate it. That's all, worst car I've ever owned. They're amazing. That's worst so car I've ever owned. <laughs> See my, if you see my videos, you know I'm just not going to get into it. Golf, I own Mark 10 Jag, 1962 Mark 10 Jag. That's a really cool looking car. Yeah, I've got to get onto that proper. Um, uh, Audi RS6. Didn't you have two of those? The RS6? Yeah. No, I had an A6 TDI, uh, which I bought because I was going to manual swap the RS6. Wow. And people do it with the running gear out of that. Out of the diesel? Out of the diesel, six speed manual. It uh, doesn't bolt straight up, um, but you can get a you can get a an adapter. Bell housing. Yeah, thing. you get an adapter for it, and wow. the rest of it all goes in. Um, That's amazing. Yeah, but I've just recently sold that A6. Right. Okay. Um, because I went to put it back on the road, and it needed a load of welding, and uh, wow. it just wasn't worth it. So I got rid of it. What so year was that? It. That was a 2002. All Incredible. of the rear, the rear offside um, suspension. Turret mounting, what's it, Imajigger? Died. It was all just corroded away. So you push it and it just. I, I, that's crazy, isn't it? I mean, yeah, but again, you know, so, some cars take you by surprise, don't yeah. they? You know? So that's gone. So I don't know. So what was I on there? Three cars. Yeah, the Mark 10. Um, I've still technically got the. No, the Black Merc. What's the time? The Black Merc is getting picked up in 30 seconds. I'm not even joking. At, one, at two o'clock. So the Black Merc's gone. Oh, wow. Just sold that. Was, that the, was it an SEC, was it? A... No, it was a W126. Yeah, but yeah. It had yeah. an AMG, genuine AMG body yeah, kit. Yeah, a great looking car. Yeah, I've kept the body kit and I've kept nice, the wheels. Nice, nice. Um, so, now where am I? Golf? I'm rubbish at this. Golf, Mark 10, 
Audi RS6. W124 Mercedes, 220E. Nice, yeah, okay. Which you'll see, people see on the channel soon. I've never had that car running. Um, <laughs> Triumph Spitfire. That, this is the yellow one that's... The yellow one. Not, lo not lots of Spitfire there, was there? Was, no. You, no. Well, I've got plans, I've got plans. Okay. Ambitious plans, but I've got them. <laughs> and I own a Peugeot 504 pickup. So... And we'll get on to a that new, in a a new second. project car, which I cannot reveal just yet. So what was that, seven, eight? Something like that, yeah. yeah. Um, I know what the new project car is. It sounds amazing. Looking forward to seeing that. So <clears throat> one of the first ever videos I saw of yours was I was on eBay one night and I remember seeing in a field a Peugeot <laughs> 504 pickup yep. and going, that looks Perfect for my channel. Yeah. I was like, I really want to get that. Did you bid on it? it? No, because it was in fucking Essex or wherever it was. It was miles yeah, it was only up the road for me. Yeah, as well. it, was, it was yeah, fucking yeah. miles. And I was like, it's too far for me to go. I didn't have the money at the time to be able to travel that far and stay over and all that sort of stuff. So I was yeah. just like, it's too much for me. I can't do it. I was like, oh, well, that would have been really cool. <laughs> couple of weeks later, fucking bang, <laughs> there it is. Not economically viable. I'm like, fuck, he fucking bought the picker. <laughs> um, and it's quite popular, like a lot of people. So what's, really what's, popular. So two parts to this question. What's wrong with it and can I buy it? Um, you can't buy it. OK. It's, that's a keeper. That's a real keeper, I'm afraid. <laughs> so um, what's up with it? Why, is it? why is it just sort of sat there? What's the story behind it? Well, I bought it off that bloke who... So this, the guy I bought it off of, uh, Paul, if you're watching, is a top bloke. Um, I've, I've spoken to him a few times since. Um, he bought a piece of land mm. in Essex. It was a house with massive great fields on it as well. And he bought it off of, um, uh, off of uh, an old bloke who died. Right. Uh, and he bought basically the estate almost, you know, the house. And so it had all these barns on it. Nice. He bought the house with everything that was on it. Yeah. And there was loads of cars all tucked away that this old boy had just been squirrelling away mm. over time. And uh, one of them, it, it, and one of these fields was just completely covered in brambles. It was about as high as your ramp there. Yeah, yeah. It, and it had gone for quite some, some distance. And you can nice. see in the video where they'd cleared all the ground. It was all just mud. Yeah. And so they'd just been through with bulldozers and, and cleared it all. And because then they he hit was, something. Yeah, the guy was just building the house. <laughs> and then, yeah, they, they hit a couple of things. One of them was an old Rover that was completely dead. It was an eight, 820i, I think it was. Oh, nice, I did one of those yeah. not so long ago, yeah. And, um, and, one, and one of the things was a Peugeot 504 pickup. Wow. And all he did was cleared the brambles from around it yeah. and then took a photo, which you'd have seen. Yeah, put it on and eBay. That was, that was how it was, and it was sunk in the ground and it had been sat there f for 20 years. Yeah. Uh, but the old boy apparently used to put... He was, uh, he was a bit of a farmer, he had a load of land, and he used to put all the goats and the sheep in the back of that thing and go up and down the road in it. Really? Just what, just taking them for a drive? I don't know what, apparently. <laughs> it, apparently he was, he was, a, he was a bit, uh, he was eccentric. Yeah, I love it. And he yeah, did yeah. used to take them for drives up and down the road and visit his goats. What else are you going to do with a Peugeot 504 yeah, pickup? Exactly, Not, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And he it's also, if you look, if you watch my video, if you see when I change the fuel filter, yeah. you can see loads of red diesel come out of it. Wow, nice. So the yeah. diesel was just running it on red diesel and Brilliant. you know, doing all the things that you shouldn't do. <laughs> but, just, but it sat there, don't know why he parked it, he just parked it one day and then mm. just with the keys in the ignition, wow. shut the doors and that was it. And he did that, with that place probably had 10, 15 cars there, all the same, just sat. Wow. No reason as to why it was just parked and then he just left it. So what did you do with it then? So I pulled it out, pulled it out of the ditch, took it home, got it running. Nice, of course, yeah. it was an old Peugeot non-turbo diesel. Yeah, XUD or something, are they? Yeah, I can't remember. yeah basically. Yeah. It's the same one they put in the Sierra. Yeah, the brilliant. Sierra, yeah, 2.3 yeah. litre. Oh, wow, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, naturally aspirated diesel. And, uh, yeah, changed <sighs> the filter, did an oil change, so and it just nice. fired up. Just fired up. Thank and, God, uh, they're just great. I and I've it. since been running it at home off the tank the old diesel that's still in the tank, because wow. I was running it off of a jerry can. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I think you do the same thing. I see yeah, the boat yeah, tank yeah. down there. Um, and then I needed to move it one day, and I didn't have my jerry can. And I was like, you know, I'm just going to plug it back into the tank. 20-year-old diesel, just on the button, on the key. Fuck, that's and brilliant. It's just, yeah, it just chugs away. And so it's, good. But it, it's, the bodywork's rotten. It's flaky. It's, mm. But... What's underneath like? I've never really looked. Mm. If I'm honest, it's crusty. It's yeah, as you'd yeah, expect, yeah, yeah. but yeah. it's it's a it's a body on 
on chassis. Isn't yeah, it? So yeah. I think it can be. But it's only it's been sitting there for all that time because it would never pass an MOT. But next year, it's exempt. MOT exempt. Oh, sick! So I'm who waiting. cares about the rest then? Yeah. So I'm basically waiting until next year, and I'll make it. Take your goats and your sheep up and down yeah, the exactly. road. Yeah. I'll put the put the baby in the back. Oh wow! And uh, yeah, I'll just I'm gonna I'll get it on the road, and I fully fully intend to use it as a shop truck. What I would like to do, I think, when you're ready to do that, I could come down and visit you oh, yeah, in your 100%. workshop, and I'll I'll lend a hand with the Peugeot because I just want to get my hands on it. I'm a massive Peugeot really? fan, oh, big yeah. Peugeot fan. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. such big a Peugeot cool fan. truck. Um, so I'd love to get my hands on it. We'll do some bits, yeah. do some stuff. Hundred percent. It's so cool. <laughs> I've, I've been trying to, every time I go on eBay, not every time, like, quite often I'll go on eBay and just type in Peugeot 504 something. Yeah. And then over time I'm just trying to get parts because there are no parts yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. There's quite a few in France, but you never know what to type in in French. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm looking for. Um, but I'm, <laughs> I'm slowly, yeah, I'm slowly amassing parts for it. And next nice. year I'll, I'll put it on the road and I want to I use it. Amazing. I want to use it. Everybody needs a shop truck for tip buttons, man. Yeah, exactly. Important. Needs some needs floors welding up and stuff, but I'll give you undo that. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. A um, couple more questions, and then I think we're going to be done. Um, what are you doing with the Spitfire, or is that like a, is that what people well, don't know? Or because no, last time when I watched that video, I looked at it and went basket case. Yeah, moving on. Fast as you can. Right. And, so, then, and then next thing I know, it's in your fucking unit. Yeah. So the plan with that was only ever to do one video. I was going to do a will it run. Yeah. Just to get it, the engine started. Yeah. And that was going to be it. And I made that video. And in the comments, the comments just went a bit mad with everyone yeah. saying, <laughs> that's the car that you need to keep and you need to learn to weld on it. Yeah, and it yeah, needs yeah. to go back on the road. And I didn't see it coming. Yeah, yeah, okay, And luckily, yeah. I hadn't already put it up for sale, and I'd held off, I think, just... I just didn't get around to putting it on eBay. And all these comments started flooding in. And then there was a few comments in particular saying, you just run it as a rat rod. Make it mechanically sound. Yeah, absolutely. But don't worry yeah. so much about the body. Like my panard. Yeah, and yeah, those yeah. comments were getting or loads this. of... Yeah, those comments were getting loads of likes. So the fans dictated what I'm doing with that car. Brilliant. And so I planned to take the body off. Yeah. Weld up the bits of floor and stuff that is, you know, structural on the body. But apart from that, keep the body as it is. Yeah, yeah. But make it mechanically sound. And nice. so I add it up in the air and the chassis itself. Did it not snap in two, no? No. No, it does bend. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean in the video I I, I shut the door and it that's, you, that's feel the test. you feel it catching, and then with a little bit of pressure pulling up on the rear quarter, <laughs> the door shuts. Yeah. You know, it's, but that, yeah, that's, that's the body. Um, but the chassis itself is actually like, apart from one of the front bits, it's yeah, nice, really okay. quite all right. And the parts availability. Oh, they're brilliant. Everything. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Everything. I mean, you know, look at my spit in there, you know, it's, it'd be, I'll, I'll show you it after you can get yeah, the yeah, yeah. in, in, inspo. It's so cheap, though, as well. I mean, yeah. I just bought all new brakes for it, all four corners. Everything, calipers, discs, pads, flexes, absolutely everything in one go for less money than one rear disc on the RS6. <laughs> what are you? you know what I mean? So I was it's like, oh, that's it then, I'll, I'll do it with this car. I'll, bring, I'll learn a bit of welding on it, I'll weld the floors up and stuff and make it a bit more structurally sound. Yeah. And it's a great one to do it on because when I mess up my welding, it won't matter. Yeah. Because it's still a basket case. And really. I, I think, you know, what, with welding as well, there's no such thing as messing up welding. Welding, as long as it is stronger than it was before, yeah. it's genuinely all that matters. The, the, there's, weirdly, it's the most contentious subject on the internet is, is <laughs> welding. People love to like poke holes in people's welding, which is blow holes in the welding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it's... Um, it, it, every, everything that you weld is different. You, you know, Welding this is very different than welding two bits of steel together yeah, yeah, or yeah, doing yeah. what we were talking about before, a bit of aluminium welding with two pipes and, you know, uh, TIG and, you know, it, it's all so different that if you've seen some beautiful, amazing, you know, TIG welding on an exhaust, it looks amazing, they're never, ever going to replicate that on this. No. So it's, it's such a completely different thing to look at. And so, but 
people have seen that and they go, oh, that's welding. Yeah. It's like, no, that is two incredibly clean bits of metal, perfectly machined to fit together, yeah. whereas that is like welding a fucking Coke can to yeah. a packet of crisps. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's such a different thing, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah. And, and you put one of those TIG welders who do all this exhaust stuff, put them in front of that, yeah. I'd like to see how they get on, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. And I think, so I, I don't think, as long as it's more solid than it, it was before, it's fine. Yeah. And, that, and, it. and if it's going to be a rat mod, even well, better. Well, it's the perfect car to do that with, isn't it? Just to make, yeah. it doesn't even need to look good. No. I don't even need to do that, I just need to make it stronger. Yeah. And that's my only goal to begin with as I'm getting into it. Yeah. And so, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't want to do, you know, I wouldn't want an E-type and then to have to start doing body work, because I'd care more about that. Of and course, it'd be a yeah, yeah. It's more at stake. Yeah. Well, it's that's like, with, with that, I've got loads more welding to do on it, and every weld, all the welding on it is, it's got to be really good, and it takes so yeah, much longer, yeah. you know? Um, it'd be worth it when it's done, but... Yeah, 100%. You know. But, yeah, as I'm just getting into it, the Spitfires... I mean, it was, cost me 175 quid for the car. <laughs> nice. I spent more on the brakes than I did the entire <laughs> car. So... Yeah. So good. But yeah, that, that's going to hang around. And the Peugeot. And, and I'm just getting, generally getting into this older stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the yeah, older yeah. stuff. I'm getting, I'm getting a bit fed up with, the, with all the computers. and the, I, yeah. I, I derive less joy from it. Yeah. Plugging in a computer every time. And, and for me as a beginner, right, because I am still a beginner, I've, I've, and, you know, I, I say to people, it like, looks like I have all the gear now, but I still, yeah. have, I still have no idea. As am right? I, like, you know, not, not a time-served yeah. mechanic or anything, and, you know? And so, like, I don't... You, if you open up a Spit... If you, if you, if you buy a Spitfire for £175 that's been sitting for however long, mm. and you have to stand there in front of it and say, there's no computer that's going to help me, mm. I need to get this car running again... OK, let's go to the basics. Let's hit the fundamentals mm. of, you know, fuel, air, spark. And let's, you, you, you have to actually start working out how an engine works. You have to have an, a better understanding of how this machine machines. Yeah. Right? And, and, you've got, and you've got to use your diagnostic tools, which most of the time are these two things right. here. You know, these you've got are the best and diagnostic tools you have to think about it have. logically. You know, OK, it's not firing. How far back in the system do I have to go yeah. to work it out? How far back to the, with the fuel system do I have to go to? Yeah. And it gives you a real appreciation and a, real, uh, a very deep understanding of how an engine is working or how mm. suspension works. But when you plug a computer in, it says your car is not turning on because your camshaft sensor is broke. Yeah. Well, then you just, it's told you the answer. You haven't worked anything out. And, and point, Yeah, and sometimes that's wrong. Yeah. And you do it and it still doesn't work. It's because a wire's frayed yeah. somewhere. And, oh, yeah. fucking hell, it but, can be boring. You know, it, I think there's, you can, there's more kind of like diagnostic, mental diagnostic stuff that goes on when you're on an older car. It's just mm. a better way of learning because yeah, I think yeah. too often when I work on the newer cars, I feel more like a fitter than of course, a, than a, you're than a swap, mechanic. swapping parts out, yeah. yeah. Especially when you do the, the crash damage rebuild stuff. Yeah. I just insulted half of YouTube. I, yeah, but it's you, something that I, I, I don't do. I've, I've no, never, I've, never done any I've of it. I've done like, two, you know? the RS6 and the Range Rover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, it's good, it's fine, but you're just unbolting bits and bolting new bits yeah. on. And there's not much going, okay, right, but let's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the Rover P6, the Spitfire, and the Jag Mark 10, those three cars, and, and, the, and, the, um, and the Peugeot, yeah. those cars have single-handedly given me, like, 80 to 90% of all my knowledge of cars versus any of the, any of the more modern stuff. It's so interesting. Just because you have to it? think about it. You go, but why? You can't just plug in a computer yeah. and have it tell you why. You've got to work it out. Yeah. It's like doing it, maths it's, without it's a calculator. It's very rewarding, isn't it? Yeah, it's like very doing maths rewarding. without a calculator. You've got yeah. to sit there and longhand. Yeah. And that's, you know, and it's very handy to have a calculator, but only once you've learned how to do maths first. Yeah. And then it's fine to go and do that stuff. But if you're like me and you're just a beginner and you're coming into it fresh, don't get, just ignore the computers, get something old, something you can work out and you have to deduce yeah and you'll learn more. And, and there's a lot of um like you see with this giant video behind me there's a lot of stuff that is um not apparent because you haven't got a computer or anything and you have to use um trust in your own diagnostics and your right. own range so for it for it, this behind me amazing example so sat for 40 years um, the engine, there was no spark plugs in it, no wires on it, nothing. So I was like, right, okay, I need to sort of, you know, rebuild the ignition system and try and get it running. First thing I did was a compression test, had zero compression. I was like, shit, right, okay. 
the engine's fucked. And I was like, yeah, but is it? It's been sat for so long, so it's poor loads of stuff. Anyway, uh, the ring started to come back to life yeah, and, yeah. I, and it started to get compression again. I left it overnight, left it another night. I was like, right, okay. Ring started to come back and I was like, this is mega. And then it was like, right, let's put an ignition system on it. Let's put all new ignition system on it, but it wouldn't fire. Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't hurt. And it would fire for a second mm. and not for long. And, a second. and then at that point, then I'm, I'm thinking, is my timing, in, have, yeah. have I fucked the timing yeah. like? Have I done it incorrectly? Are my leads on the wrong way around? And this is what everybody watching the videos, they're going to be screaming at the camera, going, your timing's yeah, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I know I've done it. I've yeah. worked it out. You know, you're top dead set, you know, you've done all this stuff and you're like, no, that should be right. But it's still not running. Yeah. The car's still not running. Like fuel is, and it's because it's got side draft carbs. You can't see the the fuel going in. Yeah. It's not like all the Americans pouring fuel into yeah, it. It doesn't top, work yeah, like that. Yeah. You know, you you're like I can't. You know, I need to have it, yeah. but I can't see any fuel going. Like, is it getting fuel? So you spray and stuff. It's still not running. You're like why is it still not fucking running? And then you know and you uh, go to bed and you're thinking about it in bed going all, all night. Yeah, it, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll do it. And then you get in the next day and you could have gone down the route of pulling all the carbs off, taking the head off, doing yeah. all this sort of stuff and going, right, what's wrong with my valves? What's wrong with my valve um, adjustment? Um, what's wrong with uh, the carbs? I'm going to have to rebuild the carbs, all this sort of stuff. What needed to happen with that engine, it was a perfect storm. So the, the, the compression had got back, but not enough. So when it fired for a couple of seconds, it would run and then die again immediately because it didn't have enough compression yeah. to, to keep the momentum of the engine going, so it would yeah. die. And that is something that you don't come across very often. No. It's a very unlikely scenario. So I was like, right, okay. So, But also, I was using fuel that was quite a few years old, but I, it, I knew it worked, and I knew it ran another uh, uh, other car that I'd used it on, and it was in that boat tank, so I was just like, I'm just going to use that. And then if you add that to... and in the cylinders, because I'd poured loads of stuff in, there was all its little bits of oil and stuff and where yeah. it'd been tapped. So if you added all these three elements together, yeah. it's just not enough. Yeah. Leave it overnight, brand new fuel in it, fired up first in the key and ran like a Swiss watch, man. Yeah. Like first thing is, and that's without disassembling anything. But and go, going through that dynamic set, I, I remember in the night I was like, I'm going to try fresh fuel on it tomorrow. That's the first thing I'm doing. I'm just going to try fresh fuel yeah. and I'll see if the rings have come back to life. And it fucking worked. Yeah. And that is self-belief yeah. diagnosis. Yeah. You know? it's, and, you've, it's great. and you've learned. You've learned an important lesson. There's some, Absolutely. Another, another thing that it could be. Yeah. And so, you know, and I'm getting, I'm, I've started to, uh, you know, I haven't, I'm still very in, inexperienced, but I'm already calling on past experiences. Yeah. And that's brilliant. brilliant. When that happens and I now go, oh, hang on a minute. Tried that first, something I never would have thought of before. Yeah. It's so rewarding. Because so you're like, good. oh, I've learned something, <laughs> frankly. I've actually learned, I learned something. And it's, 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 it's so it's, satisfying, so rewarding. Yeah. And, and it, it's, it's a great, you know, having a, a cache of knowledge to use. Yeah. And it's the same as that, um, that old story of like, the, there's a, something wrong with the ship's engine, and the guy calls in these people and they, they um, can't work out what's wrong. He calls in this one guy, and the guy comes in hits it with a hammer and it's just burst into life and starts to run. That's all he's done is hit it with a hammer and it bursts into oh, life. Oh, and he gives the, gives the captain of the, of the ship, gives him a £2,000 yeah, invoice yeah, and yeah. the captain goes, what? I'm not paying you £2,000. You only hit it with, with a hammer. You only took you two seconds. And he was like, I'll, I'll, I'll break the invoice down for you. It's um, <laughs> the two seconds hitting it with a hammer yeah. is £100 yeah. and the £1,900 is the amount of time in my life it's, it's taken me to learn where to hit the fucking thing and with a hammer hard, and, and how hard, hard yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, 100%. And I love that. It's brilliant. Yeah. It's yeah. great. It's a good skill to yeah, have. It's very true. Um, I think that's it. This has been jolly. It's been great fun, isn't it? Yeah. Really enjoyed talking to you. Yeah. It's been a lot of fun. It's, my first ever, it's the first podcast I've ever been on. Wow, how did it go? Um, yeah, it went really well. Yeah, I'm now cool. worried that if I'm ever on a podcast again, it won't go as well as this. It's down with the benchmark, of course. Yeah, it definitely won't. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> but will I get a Kinder Egg? <laughs> exactly, yeah. Will That's I get it. a Kinder Egg? The Kinder Egg makes it. I'm buzzing I got a car with that as well. I don't know where that went. I kicked it over there somewhere. Oh, I can oh, see I it. So. Bit of plastic over there. We'll, <laughs> we'll wash it into the drain later. Um, <laughs> if you've enjoyed this, um, please... Hit the subscribe button on the Wheels and Wings podcast, Do which we're on now, because it's great. Usually it's me and Wynn in a pub, and we just sit in the, sit in the bar and, and we just talk <clears> crap. Um, and it's, it's great fun. So have a watch the other videos as well, if you've enjoyed this, and I'll get other people on as well. Um, 
you know, if any of the YouTubers and stuff that you know, we, you know, it's all about making content. It's the first time I've met you today. It's, yeah. it's, it's great, you know, it's all about building a sort of network yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah. with us. So yeah. um, it's really good. And Nino's channel, Not Economically Viable, if you want something great to watch, this like I recommend probably the Range Rover video is, is a good place to start. Yeah, like it I think it's, yeah, it's, it's, the first range, it's the most popular video on the channel. Is it really? Yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah. didn't know that. Um, but yeah, it's it's a great video. It's really really good. Thank you, mate. Um, and loads of others as well. So not economically viable. Look him up. Hit the subscribe button for his channel as well, and just give give his videos a bit of a watch. Only after you've finished watching all of the Tasty Classics videos. Yeah, every single one, right the way through to the end. <laughs> We'll get that average view duration up. Yeah, <laughs> including the 10 hours of uh, the 10, 10 videos of painting the fucking spit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, thanks very much for watching and listening. See you next time. Thanks for coming. Bye.